David Morgan, mining shares jumped this week more because of Draghi's comments than Barrick's earnings. Tell me, have mining stocks lost their share base, their shareholder base to the ETFs? Quite a bit. Uh, without the ETFs, uh, any equity investor, which is managed money, professional money, was restricted from buying a commodity. But with the advent of the ETFs, you could buy a commodity by buying a stock. And because of that fact, if you just look at the uh, what the market capitalization is of, let's say, the SLV, the most prominent ETF for silver, you take that liquidity of roughly 300 million ounces times $30 a ounce, rough numbers, and you find that kind of liquidity would have been in the mining shares, not maybe every penny of it, but the lion's share of it. So certainly, with the advent of the ETFs, a lot of the professional money goes right to the commodity because you don't have the risk in the commodity that you have in a mining equity. You don't have management, geopolitical risk, uh, mining cave-in, a labor strike, uh, anything can happen in a mining company. It doesn't happen when you own the commodity outright. Having said that, I do think the mining shares are, are already bottomed, and I also think that is the best sector to be in going forward because they're so undervalued, and the public at large will come into this market later on in the cycle. And if they do come back into the miners' market, which is your favorite silver mining stock right now? Well, that's tough. As you know, I make my living by talking, commenting on gold and silver as a commodity, also short-term swing trading, and lastly, of course, the mining shares, which we spend a great deal of time on. We look from the top down. We have all kinds of top-tier companies, mid-tier companies, growth situations, and speculations. I would say, since you put me on the spot, I would say Silver Wheaton, even though it's gotten beaten up here lately, a royalty company, has a lot of risk taken out of it, well diversified, they got really tight contracts. It's really hard as a one-stock pick to beat Silver Wheaton. I suggest if you don't know about the company, it's SLW, uh, do some research on your own. It'd be hard-pressed not to say that that company wouldn't do well going forward. And right now, maybe a good opportunity from the aspect that some of the news that's been out there on that company lately has probably held back its price. This market is stock tickers market. Stocks have rallied this year. We're coming into a Monday where we're going to